Hello my dear students very good morning to all of you once again i welcome you all to this online lecture in the last lecture we discussed about process control research and development and pollution control this is the one more of lecture of this modern approach to chemical industry in this topic we are going to see some new units which are in a chemical industry in the today's lecture we are going to study the safety measures of a chemical industry economics of chemical process selection of parameters for a chemical industry let's see one by one safety measures this is the very important unit in which the chemical industry which take care the safety of employments here what are the precautions what are the measures have to be take for an industry regarding the safety basically the word safety is derived from french word safe means safe in recent years an account of serious accidents mostly the serious accidents an important attention has been given to on chemical process safety means recently there are lot of accidents have we are seen due to these accidents there is a very important attention have to be take for every industry on safety measures in many chemical process or many chemical industries accidents are from combustion and uncontrolled reactions plays an important role so in order to avoid such accidents the knowledge of safety measures and chemical reactions that is knowledge of safety measures knowledge of chemical reactions how to perform it etc etc are necessary for control of hazards which are in a chemical industry so what are those safety measures have to be taken there are 12 safety elements are identified such as accountability what is accountability accountability is nothing but the process safety audits must be conducted means different types of audits for example if in the laboratory fire extinguisher are there whether the audits are taken or not for every year so likewise accountability of safety measures have to be taken second the process knowledge and the documentation safety knowledge how you can make it the safety knowledge and making it available within a company is very important that can be do by this process knowledge and the documentation process safety reviews to achieve this new or revised facilities must be available that is of safety reviews process risk management the purpose of this component is to manage to execution of the risk controls management of change it includes all modifications to equipment procedure and organization that may affect the process safety means the management continuously take care on modification of equipments procedures organization it may affect the process safety process and equipment integrity means equipments used to handle materials should be in a perfect condition means if a certain equipments are there these equipments whether are in working condition if they are not in the working condition have to be maintain it means the process of equipment it should be in the integrity it should be in a perfect condition incident investigation it is a management where the process by which steps are taken to prevent the incidents means there must be a certain investigation or team of investigation should be there incident investigation team should be there it manage 
the process by which steps are taken to prevent the incidents means certain steps initiative steps should be taken for prevent the incidents training and performance this is very important training is an integral part of a process safety management program proper training of personnel is an absolute requirement for keeping equipment and complex process safety means if a new person if a new employment if it is recruited the role of organization should give the the proper training of the process the proper training of the chemical reaction due to that we can avoid the chemical accidents human factors it refers to quality human quality which must be taken into account while designing a chemical systems it increases safety and efficiency of the operator means if you, if you are performing a chemical reaction the human factor is also very important which person if a expert person is performing the a chemical reaction handling the equipments that should be we minimize the accidents or any incidents if unknown person if it is doing certain reactions that cause the accidents means human factor also very important means him the factor the employment or the employee should be a proper knowledge of the chemical reactions company standards codes regulations the intention of all these is to communicate minimum acceptable safe practice audits corrective actions audits help to assure agreement with the sound process safety program and that risk are being properly managed means properly audit should be there enhancement of process safety knowledge for each and every organization enhancement of safety process knowledge should be there organization with strong process safe program can provide accelerate the latest latest process safety technology means each and every organization should improve their enhancement should improve their safety knowledge regarding the company so these are the minimum we can say certain safety measures have to be taken by in any industry or any organization next is economics of chemical process what is the economics of a chemical process economics of a chemical process is nothing but what type of expense we are going to include for a production for a, a cost production for a product of cost the main objective of any industry is to deliver the best product and most efficient services at the lowest price to the consumer and make some profit this is the motto of the any company or any organization it should produce a quality product efficient product with lowest price in the company motor should be there so what are the economic factors the economic factors associated with the chemical industry are three different factors are there the first capital investment second working capital and third is the manufacturing cost let's see one by one the first is capital investment what is the capital investment the main investment on building chemical plant materials equipment storage facility like godons and other auxiliary utilities should be the capital investment means what the investment which we are going to invest on building plant equipment so these are under from the capital investment second working capital this includes cost of maintenance testing of raw materials and the products repairs cash reservoirs etc etc means working capital is nothing but where the basically the investment which is required for maintenance the expense which is required for maintenance testing what the cost will be the testing of the raw material incoming raw material or maybe of the product repairs sometimes some repairs are there what the cost which are going to be expense on such items are nothing but the working capital capital investment is the main investment which are on building chemical plant materials equipment storage facility etc 
Here, the working capital it includes cost, maintenance, testing of the raw materials and the products, repairs and the cash reservoirs. Manufacturing cost. Where it comes the manufacturing cost? This is mainly depends on the price of raw material and operating cost, which includes the maybe of labor, transport, supervising staff, and administration. Where the exact the manufacturing cost of a product, which includes all these things. What is the process? What is the price of the raw material? And what is the operating cost will be there? And what is the labor cost is there? What is the transport cost is there? Maybe of sometimes uh, we can say uh, a fuel, electricity, water supply, and other facilities. Every cost, every investment regarding the manufacture of that product under the manufacturing cost. Also, every chemical industry has a research and development department. This is also one of the cost, including the manufacturing cost of the economics of the chemical industry. It is always desirable that chemical process should have low cost of production and low capital investment so that the percent profit is increases. How the percent profit increases? Always the production of the product, the cost of the production should be the very low and capital investment is also very low. Then that time the percent profit can be increases. The percent profit can be calculated net profit upon cost profit into 100 that will get the percent profit so these are the three important economics of chemical process which are capital investment working capital and the manufacturing cost next is selection of parameters for a chemical industry this is very important suppose after completion of this BSA degree or in the future after completion of higher education if, if would you like to establish a chemical industry or any industry the parameters required how which type of parameters how we can select it for establishing an industry these are there are various parameters for the selection of a chemical industry some are listed as follows the first is the plant selection where we have to locate the plant that is a plant selection second safety what type of safety measures have to be taken for a chemical industry third construction of a plant how the plant can be constructed management for productivity and the creativity training for plant procedure and the labor and the last one chemical process technology so let's see one by one now what is a plant location if you are going to establish a chemical industry, first of all, you should locate a plant or location should be or decide where you have to locate the plant, where you have to establish the plant. So, plant location depends on the availability of raw materials, where the raw materials can be available. This is very important. Second, market facility and third with other factors like what is availability of water supply, what is availability of electricity. What is the availability of skilled labor, whether the labors are available or not. So these things have to be think about where the raw materials, the availability of raw materials is close to the plant set, that should be the one. And second, market facility means what? Whether the raw materials or if a company produce the product, the product should be export whether the market facility is available or not that should be take in account and second the finished product of industry it may be required for raw material for other industries means your product should be export whether market is there or not that have to be also think on the plant location other facilities as we discussed there is the requirement of water supply electricity whether the near is there or not the availability of whether water supply is there, availability of electricity is there, availability of labor is there, cost of land, land is also very important. Likewise, the plant location is have to think about on the parameter. Second is safety. Chemical industries are always treated by hazards like 
fire production toxic materials then other industries so whenever you want to establish you have to think about safety while designing a chemical plant initially you have to think on the safety measures they required have to take adequate measures have to be taken for a chemical plant third one construction of a plant for construction of a plant you should have a separate unit for construction of a plant for designing a, a plant next is measurement for productivity and the creativity a good management provides a qualified and well trained staff facility to update the knowledge of the staff means the management of the organization should be a proper knowledge about qualified staff well trained staff and facilities and the major management also should have up to date knowledge about the staff so this is also very important training and plant procedure and labor whenever companies is established the training for laborers we should give a proper training with that the company should be developed properly means a pilot plant is the best plant for training chemical engineers management should train the supervisors operators on pilot plants and workers should attend the refresher courses means what whether attending these a proper refresher courses the up to date knowledge will be gained for that the company can develop and the last one chemical process technology this is very important as per the increase in the knowledge of technology the old equipments the change of an old equipments purchase of a new equipment in order to cope up with the process based on new technological no how working with old equipments many times increases the cost of the product makes an economical means what as per the technology changes we have to also update with respect to the technology that is chemical process technology so these are the different parameters are required for establishing any a chemical industry okay with this these are the different points we discussed today the first we discussed safety measures and second we discussed on economics of chemical industry chemical process and third one we discussed on the selection of parameters for establishing any a chemical industry okay so with this i will stop here in the next lecture we will see some more points i hope you all are understood very clear okay thank you for watching this video